Okay, and you can close that now. All right, next we're gonna open up Photoshop. This is all of our texture goodies. Um, open wrench.bmp. Okay, so all of this stuff that's black. Oh, that's big. All of this way out here, your model is just gonna ignore it. It's not even gonna know it exists. So you can draw pretty pictures or write your name or whatever in there, and nothing wrong is gonna happen. The um the only thing that's gonna show up on your model is like the boxes or the inside the green stuff. So you can just copy textures and try and like erase them and resize them to fit this, but I have an easier way. I like to use it. Um, go over to your layers tab down here and drag background. Actually, just press Control J while background is selected, and that'll make a copy of it. And you can go over here and select Magic Wand Tool and make sure contiguous is checked and tolerance is 1. And you can just click the black. And this is going to select everything that's black and contiguous. And we'll do Control Shift I to inverse the selection and press Delete and then Control D to deselect. So you can see now what we have here is just a nice template, um, a shell. You can slap your texture in behind there and you don't have to worry about resizing or editing all of its boundaries and stuff. So that just makes it a lot easier. Um, so now you can just go to Google Images. Um, I'm just going to type in metal texture. Find one you like, or you can make your own if you're feeling adventurous. Um, I'm just going to do this one. You can right click it and copy, and just go in here and paste it in. So we're going to have to do some resizing and rotating to get it to look pretty. Um, you can do Control T to enter transform mode, so you can edit the size and everything. Um, do some rotating. If you want to keep the ratio the same when you're resizing it, hold Shift. So then you can drag it, and it'll make it so it won't make it ugly. <laughs> um, yeah, just have it cover. That's good. Um, press enter so you're done. Um, this is a sloppy texture. Um, what you're going to want to do if you're like actually making something that looks good is have like maybe you'd want like some metal stuff right here or you want like wood on the ends or just make it so it looks good. I'm just going to have this metal cover the entire thing. So drag it over there and drag layer 2 down under layer 1. So you can see, now we have a perfect looking map. Um, it's not confusing. Anyone can open it and say, oh yeah, this is a cylinder and these are the two ends. And it works perfectly fine. So we can save this as wrench.psd, just so we can come back and edit it. And now right click anywhere or on the layer and flatten the image. Um, yeah, you can press discard hidden layers if that pops up. So now we can save it. Um, you don't need VTF edit because we have this handy new plugin that I found. It can just export right into VTF form. So we'll call it wrench.vtf. Um, save it and check no map and no level of detail and everything else is good. Um, you can leave 8-bit alpha checked. I think, wait. Oop. Yeah, you can just leave that checked. Nah. Save as VTF. Okay. There you go. Um, you can press OK. And now you have a good VTF right here. You don't have to convert it or anything. Now to make a bump map and fong shading. Um, go to filter, NVIDIA tools, and normal map filter. This should show up if you installed the plugin correctly. You can click that. 
Um, I don't know what 90% of this crap does. I just click max RGB, and the higher this number is, the more bumpy it's going to appear. Um, 4 is pretty high, so I'm just going to leave it at that to show you how it looks. Actually, I'll set it to 3. Click OK. And now you can get a feel for the texture. You can kind of see how it's going to look. Um, if you wanted to make changes and make it flat in one spot, you can click this T dropper tool. Um, why do I call it T dropper? It's eye dropper. Um, just select the purple out here, go into your paintbrush, and just draw over it. And that'll make all this flat. I'm just going to have it all bumpy. So now you can go into channels and click this button down here to make a new channel. It's an alpha channel. Um, this selects the, or this changes like the transparency usually. So black would be um, completely visible and white would be completely transparent and gray is shades of in between. Um, what it is here when you're making a Fong map is white is going to be the most shiny and black is going to be not shiny at all and shades of that in between so I'm going to select white over here and click the eye next to RGB actually I'm going to click the eraser tool so I'm just going to erase around the two ends Make sure alpha is selected when you do this. And I'm just going to make some lines over here just to show you how it looks. So in your alpha channel, you can now see it's black with lines and dots of white. So it's going to be alternating between reflection, no reflection, reflection, no reflection. Um, yeah, that all looks good. File, save as can just call it a uh, wrench underscore bump and you can save it as a VTF VTF Whew. save it um, check mip map no level of detail and make sure 8-bit alpha is selected okay and now you have all your basic texturing done